Okay, joining us, we have the Secretary General of the Communication Workers Union, uh, General Secretary, uh, Secretary General Joanne Auger. Pleasant good evening, ma'am, and welcome once again to the Observer. Good afternoon, Mike KK. Good afternoon, Trinidad and Tobago. Thank you so much. Um, today was quite a day. Give us, give us an idea. I know that uh, you had your um, you had your demonstration, um, and it, with us, without us, there is no them. And you asked, of course, uh, folks to join together in solidarity uh, based on retroactive salaries, uniforms, training. You know, I, I, and we thought that many of these things were dealt with before, but they seem to be still on the bargaining agenda. Uh, and of course, most importantly, you made it quite clear that it was time for the Prime Minister to intervene to fire the TSTT board. Give us a recap of how things played out earlier today. So, um, I just want to be clear and very lucid in my utterances. And I saw tonight on TV6 where the Minister of Public Utilities spoke about or given his view about the union protesting about the Joint Select Committee. And I want to be clear that we did not protest about that today. We protested against the inordinate delay by the Minister of Finance and Corporation Seoul about a report that he was supposed to give us within three weeks from February 15, 2022. We protested against that delay being, um, that, sorry, that report that was supposed to be forwarded to the union never arrived. And that is why I said I am placing 95% or 99% of the blame at the feet of the minister because had he give, given that report, I am of the opinion that three quarter the corruption that is alleged in the public domain by the former CFO, Mr. Shiva Ramnarayan, would not have taken place. Again, I, we also didn't protest on those matters. As you rightfully said, we protested against the company and their wanton wastage, given the offering the union for the bargaining unit staff, junior and senior staff, 000 with no consolidation of COLA, when it is also alleged that the company expended $8 million in Carnival, which has no returns for the company. And then they, uh, they gave staff a bowl of corn soup. So take a bowl of corn soup, 000, no consolidation of COLA, as well as they are still to pay recalculated severance to re to retrenched workers. They are still to pay active workers re, um, retroactive salaries. So we are seeing a rudderless ship, no vision, no new business, no revenue generation stream. And we are seeing dejected and demoralized employees as well as the customer. Nobody's coming out and speaking about regaining the customer's trust as it relates to the cyber attack and retention after tainted image. Yep. So yeah, yeah, what but we but Secretary General, me to cut you there. But Secretary General, sure. I mean, I mean, looking at, at what transpired today, uh, you know, people, uniform, money. You have a man getting security twenty four seven at sixty something thousand dollars a month. You have a former CEO saying that she did not mislead the public utilities minister, which is Marvin Gonzalez, but instead he received information that she did not provide on the whole cyber attack. Now, all of these focus, all of this chaos, money still being owned, money spent on carnival, money being spent on security, then why, why is it that the members of, 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 of TSTT staff still have to be suffering when there are people who seem to be living with ham, lamb, and jam? That's what we can't understand. And I agree. I agree totally. And I want to come back to something that you just pointed out. Um, when the CEO spoke about being misled, and of course it's an allegation, right? Um, I find that a, a tad bit hard to believe because I am the Secretary General of the CW. We have protocols in place. No one is supposed to um, speak on behalf of the union except the Secretary General and the President. If one of the board members goes and speak out of turn, they have to be reprimanded whilst I sit in office. So it is very hard to sit back and believe that one could shirk their responsibility as a sitting CEO when something of that grave nature by misleading, allegedly misleading, given her communique, which would have been misleading to the Minister of Public Utilities. So I find it hard that she would have sat there in the capacity of the sitting CEO and allowed that to happen, not a slap on the wrist, but now she has been ousted out of office and then there is some type of red flag, as she would call it, right, that, that happened. 
as well as probably the question begs as well, did the Minister of Public Utilities probably didn't read the statement properly? Did he ask for confirmation? But if I was the minister, and I'm not defending the minister, but if I was to sit in the minister's shoe and someone would bring that to me, I would feel confident to know, relay that information to the parliament. So the onus is, and that is why I'm calling for Kamal Georges and Mr. Cooper to be investigated first. And if the allegations are true, they need to walk. They need to walk just like Ms. Ms. Agard and just like Mr. Ramnarine. Yeah, because, I mean, you have to ask then who's protecting these individuals. Another oh, issue is this pension issue. That has been on the agenda for quite some time. I, I, we, yes. we keep hearing about that. I mean, your, your, your former um, Mr. Elder, he had to deal with it. And even before that, why is this still lingering? So what, what, what is my belief with the pension issue is the company has, well, the company and the union, we are in bilateral talks. With the pension with the pension plan and there seems to be a surplus and there also seems to be um concerns with the administration of the two plans right and based on that the company has presented a memorandum of agreement for the union's consideration but of course we cannot just sign off on something that we do not seek um, that we would not have been seeking proper consultation on. So we have a battery of attorneys that we have been, you know, meeting and taking counsel for. But what, I what is more important, um, Mikey K, is that pensioners are a dying breed. We know this. And we have non-contentious issues that both parties agreed upon. And one of the things which I have been saying in the public domain, why can't we separate these non-contentious issues and deal with the memorandum of agreement, which is a contentious issue, and treat with one of the things, which is a $3,000 pension payment monthly to the pensioners. Let us bring immediate relief to these persons. But... TSTT has been holding a high hand or trying a high hand and foisting upon the union to now go and sign this memorandum of agreement. So when you're, when you're thinking that you're 10 steps forward, you're actually 40 steps backward. Yeah, and I think it's very important because one of the things that you had on your flyers is because we built TSTT and we built te you built Telco, which is yes. a fact. I, I mean, now it, now it is when you, when you come fast forward to what we're dealing with now, individuals who are being paid a lump sum of money and that ridiculous amount of money compounded with the fact of security around the clock. I mean, one would think that you would take these things that are on the books for quite some time, make it a priority and deal with it rather than to have it dragged on for so long when these people who built TSTT from Telco put their shoulders to the wheel and now today they can't get what rightfully theirs. Agreed. And I also want to say um, that we have most of these issues that we would have found the pavement um, today, we kept raising them with the company, you know. We kept raising them with the company. For instance, you made mention of it. Four years now, workers have not um, received uniforms. That is a flagrant violation of Article 14 of the collective agreement, right? No personal protective clothing. Same thing, four years. We have, they redeployed staff July in July of 2022, and they have not even offered training. So you have persons doing, doing one, two, three, sometimes four jobs blindly. They have removed the institutional knowledge from the company. So all the subject matter experts, they were either um, retrenched or via natural attrition, they have demitted the organization. So TSTT is running, uh, I, don't, I don't even want to say a hawk and spit, Rum shop, but that's how they're running the that's how they're running the organization. We have an acting CEO. He is in Barcelona on a mobile conference together with two other members of the corporate leadership team. <laughs> and we have no one holding on as the CEO. Yeah. And one of the things you also say, apart from the dismissal of the board, you would definitely like to see criminal charges laid. Of course. Of course. Too far in this country. We have a nine day we have a nine day wonder. We talk a big talk and then we blow hot and then we blow cold. And then persons get away with a lot of things. And that is the issue we have to change from the culture and we have to call persons to account. If I am unjustly enriched as a junior or a senior staffer, 
the company will fire me for it. I mightn't have, I mightn't, um, I mightn't get charged for corruption because of the um, quantity of the theft or the misappropriation. But the type of wanton wastage that we know have been going on, as a matter of fact, we have documents that we sent to the Minister of Finance and Cooperation, Seoul, showing him in its entirety the type of wanton wastage and corruption going on in TSTT from the former CEO, Dr. Ronald Walcott. We have information we have given him and nothing has happened. So I am saying it's time to have persons held to account and charge them where we see fit. Secretary General, um, protests today, what tomorrow, what do you intend to do? I mean, do you intend to intensify uh, and keep these issues in the spotlight and demand? And, and if so, what, yes. what's your next move? So let me tell you, um, we will definitely be going to the Minister of Public Utilities. We will be taking our protest there and we will eventually reach to the Parliament because it is time the Prime Minister, and let me quote from him, he says he doesn't like his money sleeping out. TSTT workers, money sleeping out too long, right? And these persons, these miscreants that we have at the CLT and all the different levels, get them out of office because we need to be held, they need to be held up Accountable. So we will be taking the protest to the Minister of Public Utilities for his intervention, and we will be taking it to the Parliament. The Prime Minister does not like embarrassment, and he does not like foolery, as I indicated. It is an election year, and if he wants the persons, and I'm not saying that I'm a PNM, I hold no affiliation or allegiance to the PNM, nor the UNC, but if he is serious about a mandate of being transparent, he needs to step into this TSTT debacle. Yeah, because it's, it's, it's just dragging on and it is. it's totally unfair, especially for the workers, uh, the communication workers, uh, very, very unfair, very unjust. Uh, closing comments, if you had to talk to the members, because I know, as you said, you're taking the fight all the way, you're taking it to the minister. And, and, and I mean, with, with this minister, of course, we've seen that, well, the government on the whole has not been union friendly from day one. Yes. Uh, we, we just saw what happened with Michael Anisette and SWWTU and, and yes. other unions. So I, I think you know that you have a battle on your hands. So what would you of say course. to the members, of course, those who came out today and those who are still waiting to get some sort of justice as far as pension and what have you? So as I told them today, we need to hold the fort. We need to stand in solidarity. And a worker affected anywhere will be represented <coughs> by workers everywhere. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much. And, and again, we'll be checking in with you periodically. Keep up the good work. All the best of luck to you and your thank entire you team. Thank you so thank much. Thank you so much. Have yeah. a good night. Thank you.